a hot mess, aren't I? <laughs> Which explains a lot. It is 96 degrees and damn hot in my house. We have an air conditioner. It works to part of the house and then this part of the house it's not very good at all. And the fact that I have my door shut so I can record without interruption, good luck to me, uh, it makes it even hotter in here. So I'm kind of going... But anyway, I'm having a refreshment that's making me feel so much better. And it's my watermelon! Yay! Oh, let me try something here. Nope. I was hoping that if I push this button it'll switch, but it won't. Anyway, uh, today I'm working, trying to get as much work as I can done without heat stroke. And trying to get all my steps in has been good luck to me. But at least I did go to the gym. I did work out. I was good in that aspect. Uh, I've been working hard on my weight loss. And I'm starting to go in the right direction. I just keep crossing my fingers that I keep going in that way. And on Spark People, they have a section called Weight Loss. Which I am excited about. I went right here down to weight loss click on that and this is the page it gave me and it gave me um, you know like exercises or not exercises it gives me a questionnaire type of thing join conversations about whatever your issues are plan for success avoid your pitfalls focus on, on healthy eating you know they got 13 sweets with no sugar added and notice it's a strawberry <laughs> Tame your sweet tooth. I need help with that one. Focus on the fitness. And uh, cardio, over 101. And then down here, it has a bunch of stuff that you can click on to find out what to do. I thought that was pretty awesome and cool. I was really enjoying that. So... I'm, I'm all excited. One thought that's been bothering me, though, late, it's been in the news lately, is the um, shooting in South Carolina. I don't watch TV, so I don't keep up on the news as much. And I watch YouTube, but that doesn't mean those stories are going to come up, you know, that kind of thing. So I know I'm a couple of days behind on the, on the whole thing. But I did see something that the president said, which was, yeah, other countries don't have this problem. Not near as bad as we have it. And I kind of agree with him. It's like, come on, people. We all need to grow up. Stop shooting people just because we're in an attitude problem. Um, you know, there was mention of, you know, gun laws and stuff like that. And the thing is, is I grew up in a family of guns. Never really thought of it one way or the other. Because we're not the kind of people that go around shooting other people. You know, if we shoot anything, it's dinner. <laughs> but, um, yeah, when my son went to file, my son and his girlfriend both uh, got their license. And they, um, they had to go through an extensive background check and all this other good stuff before they could have their weapons, you know, and, and, and my son's girlfriend's position, she has a job that requires her to have a weapon, and so she had to go through a long list of things. My son just got out of the military, and, um, he's been looking for work that requires a weapon, and a lot of times it's one of those you have to have the weapon before you can get the job type of thing, so... You know, he went and did his. But, you know, like I said, it was a very extensive type of thing. They had to go through all these classes. You know, I don't have a problem with weapons as long as people are properly trained to use them for the, for the purpose in which they were made for. Just to go into a theater and shoot people, to go into a church and shoot people, just because we're having a bad day or whatever, going into a school, please... Somebody, make them stop. 
You know, there's, there's no reason for all that. There's just absolutely no justifiable reason. And, it, and what makes it worse is other people see it and they think, hey, well, I'm getting attention for this. It's just not necessary. You know, we're that idiot who shot up our theater. He's, they're just now getting around to his trials. Just now. That was in 2012, three years ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too happy. Anyway, be praying for those people. Be praying for our com country. Be praying for our leaders. Just be praying. We all need it. Have a good one.